You're listening to The Scrimmage with Daniel Hargrove and Justin Domashevitz. It is time for Stump Daniel. Except what? It's not. Ha ha! Are you cowboying this segment? I am. I am Shanghaiing it right out. From okay, so you. I think I know what you're doing. All okay. right. So we got a comment from Francis. No. <laughs> and as it's well publicized, last week Get I did Ken Griffey Jr. trivia with Stump Daniel, yes. and you did very poorly. And you were ashamed. I was. I was. You so brought ashamed. shame to your family. Yes. <laughs> and Francis said after the Ken Griffey, and you have an ongoing uh, feud now with our listener Francis. Yes. And he says after the Ken Griffey Jr. debacle last week, should the sec- should the segment be renamed Stump Dan? No. Or even <laughs> shorten it just to Stan, or more appropriately, just Dump. <laughs> <laughs> so are we gonna do Dump today? Is that what's no? Going? Okay. Uh. I mean, I took a dump on the segment last <laughs> last week, so I understandable. Hard to get mad at Francis for that. Definitely not Stump Dan, but no, this is the few and far between Stump Justin. What episode? Yes, I have deemed it this week because <laughs> I've been sitting on some questions for a while, and <laughs> so I finally am like, you know, this is the time. How many After, weeks did it come, I, I take need you to, to come up with these questions? Uh, actually, you know, I had some of the questions a long time ago, and you'll find out about that category okay. if you choose it. Um, but I did a lot of research <laughs> last night, too. So okay. it is now time for Stump Justin, <laughs> and I'm so excited. All right, so Justin, how this is going to work. There are five categories. Do you have a legal situation and need someone on your side? Let the law office of Jeffrey A. Domashevitz be your advocate. If you've been the victim of medical malpractice, suffered a personal injury, or need representation with real estate law, small business law, or estate planning, let Jeff Domashevitz put his 29 years of experience to work for you. Call Jeff Domashevitz today at 360-612-3991 or visit domashevitzlaw.com. That's D-A-M-A-S-I-E-W-I-C-Z-L-A-W.com. You are going to pick three of them. Then they are going to be pass-fail. All you have to do is get over 50% of the questions in that category to pass that. If you pass two of the three categories you choose, then you win. Otherwise, you lose. Okay, but I get to choose. That's yes. very kind so, of you. So categories, one, number, name a number one through five. Oh, I don't get to choose the category? I'm just nope. picking numbers? Yep. Um, okay, I'll go with three because that's Russ. Okay, so the category you have selected is, and we're going, as you have taught me, it's more fun to go into somebody's wheelhouse. Okay. So, Justin, who is your favorite team of all time? The one that you maybe have tattooed on your arm? Tar Heels. Yes. (laughs) So, category number three is top 10 all-time rebounders at the University of North Carolina. (laughs) You get 10 guesses. If you get more than five, if you get five or more, I'll be generous. If you get five or more right, then okay. you uh, pass this category. Oh, okay. wow. Tyler Hansborough. Yes, he is number one on the list. I will go with Sean May. Sean May. No. Not on the list. Okay, uh, James Worthy. James Worthy is not on the list. Oh, man, there's going to be some old dudes that I don't remember <laughs> on this. <laughs> um, Actually... Yes, <laughs> but I di- I gotta say I recognize more of the names on the rebounding list than I have on some of the other things. Okay, uh, Brendan Haywood. Brendan Haywood is not on the list. Okay. You are one for four. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is really recent, but is Garrison Brooks on the list? Garrison Brooks is not on the list. Okay. You are one for five. Okay. Terrible guess. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> um, so far, you have gotten the number one all-time rebounder and nobody else. Bryce Johnson. <laughs> Bryce Johnson is on the list. Okay. He is at number six. Okay. Number six, I would have thought he's higher. Ah, you're two for six. Okay. 
boy, this is hard. <laughs> is this what it feels like to be on the other side of this? Yes, yes, it is. Because um, you know what's happening right now is like I'm blanking on names. Like yes. I can't even think of, I can't even think of Tar Heels players. Yeah, it sucks, um, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It I gotta suck. say, there's still a couple of names that I recognize on here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Great. Well, they've had a lot of great rebounders. Yep. Number two is someone that we actually mentioned in a recent episode of our show talking about something else. Oh. Actually, another episode of Stump Daniel. Oh. Is it Antoine Jameson? Yes, it is. Okay. But there's also another person that I was thinking about. But yes, we did menis- mention Antoine Jameson. So you have three of seven now. Okay. How many guesses do I get? How many more? You get guesses? three more. Three more. All right. Um, okay. So it's not. It's not going to be Vince Carter. I don't, he wasn't really a big rebounder. Tick tock. Tick tock. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Dion Thompson. Not on the list. Okay. Um, <laughs> three for eight. This is not good. Nope. This is really not good. You have to get these last two. Um, what about? Kennedy Meeks. Hey, Kennedy Meeks is on the list and okay. also one of the people that I recognize. So you have a chance to pass this category. Okay. Last All right. one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, Daniel. <laughs> Do I need you to put wouldn't a, know. Do I need to put a time limit you, on this? You don't understand, um, Daniel. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'll just throw out Vince Carter. He played three years. He was really good. That is incorrect. Oh. Terrible guess. You have failed. Your first category. <laughs> Barely. You got four out of ten. The top rebounders are Tyler Hansborough, Sam Perkins, George Lynch, Billy oh. Cunningham, Kennedy Meeks, Bryce Johnson, Anton Jameson, Mitch Kupchak, Brad Darty. Kupchak? I think that's how you say his yeah, name, right? It is. Yep. Yeah. And Luke May. Oh, Luke May. Oh, I thought you were gonna get Luke and May. Perkins too. That's like yeah. Perkins also someone we talked about recently. <laughs> That's very embarrassing. Okay, pick a number one through five. That is not three. I will take six so we don't have to go through that again. Nope. <laughs> well, in honor of uh, Cam Newton, I'll go with number one. Okay, this is another top ten list. This is the top ten scorers in North Carolina history. Okay. I think that you will have a better shot at this okay. because scoring is more prevalent. Okay. So uh, let's go. Uh, well, Tyler Hansborough is going to be on that list. Yes, he is. He is the number one scorer and rebounder in school history. Is Michael Jordan on that list? He is not, yeah. but I will give you a bonus point if you can name where he lives on that list. Because I wrote that down. 12. Incorrect. He's number 14. You don't get the bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bonus points aren't real bonus points if they're too hard to get them. That's not true. Okay. You had real points that were too hard not to get. All right. Or too hard to get. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Antoine Jameson's probably on this list. He is. You are two for three, sir. Uh, is James Worthy on this list? James Worthy is not on the list. Okay. It's a little surprising. Um, let's see. Four year guys. No, oh, Daniel, it's a terrible guess. You're doing this wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Terrible guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw Vince Carter in on this one, too. He is not on the list. Okay. Two for five. Is Sean May on this list? Not on the list. This Terrible is, guess. This is disappointing. That was not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting into the spirit of it now, Andrew. I don't okay. like that. I, you know what? I should have written that. He only was there three years. They had lots of good four-year guys. <laughs> yeah. Is, is, uh, is uh, Luke May on this list? Luke May is not on the list. Are you kidding me? What about... Uh, <laughs> What about Joel Berry? <laughs> Not on the list. You are struggling. It's really bad. Two for a lot. I got to count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You are two for eight. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I got to admit, I, uh, these guys, I was like, wow, I don't know, like, any of these guys. Okay. Um, but you, you've gotten the number one and the number eight. Okay. Part of the problem is, like, there's a lot of 80s that I wasn't yeah. around for. <laughs> one of the guys... Number three on the list was number two on the rebounds. That doesn't help. Yeah, well, you um, just I just told you who it was. Wait, I got it right on the other side? No, I read all of the rebounding list. Oh, is it Sam Perkins? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I already lost this one, so what you does did. all of this matter? Uh, your favorite player, Raymond Felton. No, thank goodness. <laughs> Raymond Felton, terrible guess, terrible player. Moving on, you have now failed. Well, you've already failed, but one more category to see if you can kind of redeem yourself a little bit. Now, I'm wondering if I should let you pick 
So do you want to do another top 10 list or shall we do a different type? I'll just do whatever's behind door number five because I door- like things that are in a pattern. Oh, I'm so glad you I picked like door number five. I like things that are in a pattern, so one, three, five is really so good. I am so glad you picked number five. So I wrote down my category names. One was top 10 points. Two was top 10 assists, which did have Raymond Felton on it. Uh, number three was top 10 rebounds. Number four was announcers because I was curious if you knew who their longtime radio announcers were, even though you weren't in the area. So I'm assuming would have you... gotten zero of those. Okay. Yeah. So this one, though, is a special category and it comes from Ian. I labeled this crazy Ian questions. All right, so th- there's <laughs> two questions here. The- okay. Yeah. In his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons, Donald Williams was the third leading scorer on the UNC roster. What players finished ahead of him in those three years? It was the 92-93, 93-94, and 94-95 seasons. There are some recognizable names. Well, 94-95, that could have been Antoine Jameson. It is incorrect if... Oh, wait. That could have been... All right. I'll give you a freebie on that one. Okay, so it's not Antoine Not Jameson. Antoine Jameson. You know, 95 was when I started paying attention. Okay, well, those are the two names I know the most. <laughs> okay. Shamond Williams. Nope. LaDamian Washington. Nope. You get four more guesses. Can I have... There's... Can I have a bonus point because that was a made-up name? <laughs> Oh, come on. You got to get at least some of these. Um, Two more. You get three more guesses. I can't even think of guys in that time frame. Okay, so <laughs> so 95, 94, 95. Is one of them Vince Carter? No. Terrible guess. I will give you credit for this answer if you get one name. Okay. What about Ed Coda? No. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> one more. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, they were in 9293 it was Eric Montrose and George Lynch. Then it was Eric Montrose and Jerry Stackhouse, and in 9495 it was Jerry Stackhouse and Rashid Wallace. Okay. Oh. Last question just because I'm enjoying watching you fail so much. <laughs> In their 93 and 05 title teams, UNC lost to the same three ACC teams in both of these seasons. (laughs) What? Who were they? (laughs) Are you serious? Yeah. (laughs) I told you this is the crazy Ian question segment. Okay. Duke? Yes. Okay. um, I can't remember when they moved out of the ACC, but is one of them Maryland? No. Uh, I'll give you four guesses. So you've already used two. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And Virginia wasn't good in those days. They were trash. They were garbage. I'm going to go with... TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. (laughs) Clemson. Terrible guess. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. This is really fun. Now I know why he does this. Um, <laughs> Justin's favorite team. <laughs> uh, I didn't think this segment was going to work because I didn't think you could embarrass me. Because <laughs> typically I don't feel shame about things like this, but this is this is bad. I got to say, last week's segment really inspired me. And there's me. something about, like, there's something about this pressure cooker that's making me forget what teams are in the ACC. Yes. Georgia Not- Tech. You got it correct. Wow. So you got two two out of the three schools there. So, Justin, I'm giving you credit for that answer, which means you got 50% of category five. Okay. So you got one out of the three categories. Good job. Except for terrible job because you failed. I think if you that were would to... be a good job if you were a baseball fan. <laughs> I can't remember the numbers, but I think if you look at the percentages, I still did better than you did last week. <laughs> um, we could actually yeah. go into that because I think it's pretty close because you got three out of ten on one of them and then four out of ten on another. So that is seven for 20. 
And then I coached you through one, and you got zero of six on the next one, oh and then two of four. So <laughs> it'd probably be pretty, pretty close. The zero of six one, that really hurt. Yeah, that, was, that one's... Especially when you're throwing out names like Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace yeah, and Eric I, Montross. I thought I thought you would have got some, one of those guys. I know. Well, I know all those guys. I'm, fu- I'm fuzzy <laughs> on the time frames of anything before 95. Well, they... That was 95, so <laughs> that should have helped a little bit. <laughs> All right, so that was Stump Justin brought to you by the law office of Jeffrey A. Domashevitz. And no I got to say, for that performance. Andrew, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That was great. <laughs> I had a different uh, experience there. 